Hi, today we're going to learn how to make a circular mandala using a template that I um, have created for this. So the mandala that I created was actually made out of this photograph. It's um, a macro close-up photograph of bike rust. As you can see, I got it from the Oceanside Pier. And I'm using this template. So just notice the template actually has two layers. One is layer one, which has the circular pattern. And then the other one is just a background layer, which you can use to um, add color, like you can see from this. So I tried to make it as simple as possible. And so this is kind of the way that I've found to be the simplest way and that um, people have been very successful very quickly with. So the first thing you do, you actually take the top left hand pie shape and you use the magic wand and you just kind of select that area. From there I kind of scooch it to the side and drag it to the photograph that I'm going to be using the reference point from. So I'm kind of dragging that selection over and I'm going to choose an area that I think will look really interesting for a mandala. So maybe something like this might be interesting or something that has really nice juicy detail and also a lot of different colors. From there I just press command C to copy that. I then go back over to my mandala, put it back in my workspace, go command V as in victory, and then I have that to work with. From there, I actually duplicate that layer by going layer, duplicate layer, and say OK. I scooch it over using my move tool so I can see what I'm working with. I go to edit, transform, flip horizontal so I can get the symmetrical portion of it. And then edit, transform, rotate. And then I just kind of rotate it, try to make it as parallel as possible and then scooch it over to line up. You want to make sure that there's no white lines at all and that kind of the bottom this area right here and this area right here is as lined up as possible. Once you get it you just press check and then uh, sometimes what I do is I go command plus to just make it a little bit bigger just to make sure it looks good and it does. And then once I make sure it looks good, I actually merge those two layers by going command click, getting those layers together, and then layer, merge layers. From there, I just duplicate that layer by going layer, duplicate layer, say OK. I scooch it over. I go to edit, transform, flip horizontal and then line that up as well. Sometimes I might use the um, arrow key on the keyboard itself and then again kind of make it bigger so I can see there's a tiny little line so it just needs to go a little bit closer and that looks good. So then I select both layers, go layer, merge layers, and then I've got the top half done. I then take the template, the layer one, and I drag it to the trash because I don't need it anymore and it'll just throw me off. So I go back to layer two, go layer, duplicate layer, say OK, drag it down, and then edit, transform, flip vertical. And then again, I just kind of use that little arrow on my keyboard to line it up as much as I can. It's looking pretty good, but again, sometimes what I like to do is to just go Command plus just to make sure it's totally lined up. Now it looks like it can have a little bit of work, but it looks good there. Go minus, command minus, click those two together, merge layers again. What I usually do is add a black background to make it look even more kind of funky and professional. So I click on the background layer, I click on the paint bucket tool. I choose black usually looks the best and I click that and then voila you've got a really gorgeous uh, mandala. From there I also usually merge visible merge all the layers together as one and then save it as a JPEG. Okay good luck making your own mandala. I hope this was nice and 
easy and pretty straightforward for you. And uh, good luck.